வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் அண்ட் எஸ்ஏபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் பி டிஸ்கசிங் ஃபோர்காஸ்டிங் வியூஸ் ஃபோர்காஸ்டிங் வியூ கன்சிஸ்டிங் த டீடெயில்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு ஃபோர்காஸ்டிங் பீரியட் மாடல் செலெக்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் அதர் கண்ட்ரோல் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் What is the difference between component scrap percentage in MRP4 view and assembly scrap percentage in MRP1 view? Component scrap percentage specifies what is the material which is scrapped when it is used in the production as a component. Assembly scrap percentage indicates when a metal is scrapped when it is produced as a finished product. Right? So this component percentage is maintained in MRP4 view. Assembly scrap percentage is maintained in MRP1 view. So you have to be very careful where we have to maintain which percentage of the scrap. Which are the mass data linked in the production version for procurement? Here we link metal uh, and the bill of metal. And uh, linking the uh, this bill, metal and bill of metal as a production version is mandatory in S4 HANA. Material X has to be replaced with metal Y from a specific date. How to manage it? So here we need to put a discontinue indicator in material X in MRP4 view. And then we have to put the metal Y as the follow-up material. Also fill what is the specific date as the effective date. This can be managed in bill of metal also. If the change is happening only in the bill of metal, for that you can discuss with the PP consultant or the PP user. We are discussing basic views, purchasing views, MRP 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we are going to discuss forecasting view. Forecasting view contains the details related to organization dependent parameters. So this is under the organization dependent section. Here we see the forecasting view details of the material. Depending on the material type, whether this view is required or not would have been configured in the material type. This one we discussed during the material type discussion. In forecasting view, we have the details like a general data where we select the forecast model or what is the last forecast, what are the reference metal, those kind of things. Then we have a section on number of periods required. Next, we have the control data parameters, whatever we need to carry out the forecast. We will discuss these fields one by one. The forecast model calculates the requirement to forecast for the material. The forecast model and analysis of forecasting in general are um, covered you know, as a models which are like constant model or it may be seasonal model anything. So this is what kind of model we are going to use. That is what is maintained in this forecast model. Period indicator field specifies what is the time period for which the consumption values for the uh, forecasting the normal period will be like a month which is taken as the field if you're taking it as a blank system will take as a month here or it may be daily or weekly that like that we can take then fiscal year variant is an accounting defined field that describes the variant for the fiscal year that is a number of posting periods which means the fiscal year variant has to be configured using the transaction OB 37 and uh, which is done by the finance team. If one material does not have any historical data to create the forecast, and then we can define a material that is similar to that material as a reference material in here, right? As a reference metal for consumption details here. Then system will consider that metal for the past details to calculate the forecast for the metal what we are looking for. Also, we can enter here which is the reference plant we have to consider. That also we can enter. And how much period we have to take this period, the material as a reference. For example, we are taking a metal A now, reference metal as B. So after six months, right, after six months, maybe we would have got the uh, that same metal, metal A itself maybe having a lot of uh, history there. So then we can use the history of uh, metal A itself instead of having metal B. So that time we can stop it. So we can put that six months date as the date here. So that is how these details are used. 
here the number of periods required this tab is there where we are having the selections which is having what are the historical details forecast period etc start with the historical periods the number of historical periods we need to have to calculate the forecast if we keep this blank as so this field as a blank system will not take any periods for the past then the forecast periods what is the number we enter in this forecast period that is the number of periods over which the forecast has to be calculated so for example if you enter here for 10 months system will calculate the forecast for 10 months here and what is the period for season this is used in seasonal forecast model to define number of periods per season then initialization uh, period for the uh, sorry number of periods for initialization this is used for the historical values that we want to be used for the forecast initialization if initialization initialization period field is blank no historical values are used to initialize the forecast and then we have the fixed period the fixed period field is used to avoid fluctuation the forecast calculation because the production can no longer react to the changed planning figures which means frequently we are having any period so we can freeze a specific period this is maybe called as a frozen period for which the forecast is fixed without any variation this is very important in many areas we cannot just keep on changing the forecast frequently so maybe next one two weeks we should not change any forecast like that we can check fix it control data section this is used for uh, having some fixing some parameters like how to initiate the forecast what is the tracking limit what is the model selection those kind of things what is that uh, initialization initialization indicator if the forecast has to be initiated by system or it has to be initiated manually that is what is decided by this initiate initialization field and then we are having tracking limit tracking limit field holds a value that specify the amount by which the forecast value may deviate from the actual value this figure can be entered to three decimal places then reset forecast automatically indicator is selected if you select this field then system will reset if the tracking limit is exceeded if my system will calculate the tracking limit if the value is more than that then system will reset it and then how the model has to be selected model selection this field is only active if the user did not enter a value in the forecast model field you know the first section of no, general data where we did not enter forecast model means then system will automatically generate i mean create the forecast model based on the details what we have and uh, model selection field can be set to one of the values like examine the trend examine seasonal fluctuation or examine the trend and seasonal fluctuation like that we can fix the details accordingly system will select and then what is the uh, the uh, co correction factors so here the system will decide what are the things which has to be included as part of the correction factor in the forecast and then we have the selection procedure selection procedure is when the system is allowed to select the forecast model the procedure is entered here how it has to be selected this kind of selection procedure now this is where that a selection procedure is given that the procedure performs significant test to find the best seasonal trend pattern or it has to select the forecast for all models and then select the model with a smaller mean absolute deviation see all these points are related to like kind of some statistical things if you are if you have to be if you have to use this forecast view properly and you have to use this forecasting in the right way then you should learn statistics if you learn statistics only you can use this field in the right way and use this forecasting at the same time these forecasting views can be used to, to calculate reorder point and a safety stop automatically right so that can be we can make it as a simple way that i will cover as a separate session later how to calculate reorder point automatically that uh, we'll uh, discuss it later but if you want to really do the forecast you need to have good knowledge in the statistical approach of forecast then only you can use this field and also suggest to the i mean if you are a client if you are a consultant if you have to suggest a user or if you are the super user to suggest your end users you need to have good forecasting knowledge please be ensure it 
in this session we discussed various parameters involved in the forecasting view like a forecasting model selection the periods which are involved in forecast model selection what are the control parameters we need as i told we should be knowing a the statistical calculations under statistical methods to use this forecasting view in the right way now let us see some quiz questions for this session Forecast for a material cannot be calculated if there is no past data for the material, true or false. Can we select number of periods to be considered in the past to arrive at the forecast? And forecasting model can be selected manually only, true or false. So I am asking some basic uh, queries only because basic quizzes only, because this is just to, for you to refresh the, uh, the knowledge we gained here. The next session we will discuss in detail various parameters involved in plant store location views and uh, if you want as i told if you are if you are good in statistics if you are able to understand the parameters then you can create this forecasting view for the metal as a practice otherwise please ensure you have created the metal master up to mrp4 view as part of the practice meanwhile please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents and uh, recommend to your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel so they can also gain the uh, knowledge to gain the benefit of this knowledge sharing thank you see you in the next session take care bye